greetings, friends, and before we begin, there are obviously massive spoilers for Hawkeye Season 1's finale and potentially the future of the MCU in this video, so if you haven't seen it yet, consider yourself warned. Hawkeye has finally wrapped its first season up, and it was a nice little Christmas time jaunt around New York City, and it had everything that you could want. New heroes, new villains, old heroes, old villains, and some good old-fashioned murder. Could Hawkeye get another season? I'm not sure yet, but there are a few characters here that we will be seeing very soon. Kate Bishop is an extremely popular character, so expect to see her a ton more, but also Maya Lopez, otherwise known as Echo. Echo is getting her own Disney Plus show, and with the return of characters like Matt Murdock, Wilson Fisk, and potentially the rest of the Defenders cast, there is a ton of possibilities. Yes, friends, it is an awesome time to be a fan of Marvel street-level heroes, but just promise me you won't go out and overpay for comic book first appearances. Big spoilers from here on out. In the season finale, we see Wilson Fisk, the kingpin of crime, has been manipulating and using Echo after having her father murdered years ago. Maya, obviously extremely close with her father, was informed of this treachery by Clint Barton acting as Ronan. Her sight then shifted from Hawkeye to Wilson Fisk, and after a brief showdown slash murder of her lover Kazi, she was able to seemingly corner Fisk and kill him. Or did she? Look, let's be honest here, Kingpin is definitely not dead. There is no way that Marvel is going to fork out the money for what essentially comes down to a glorified cameo. Kingpin is way too important to the landscape of Marvel Comics and the MCU to have him be killed in an alley by essentially a brand new character for most audiences. Think about his final fight with Matt Murdock in Daredevil Season 3. If they were gonna get rid of Kingpin once and for all, you mean to tell me they chose this alley to do it? No way. But these actions do mirror things that take place in the comics, and fortunately for our subscribers and viewers, we have you covered. Much like in the show, Maya Lopez's father was an enforcer for Wilson Fisk, who was secretly killed by the Kingpin. Maya, after her father's death, lived a comfortable life taken care of by Fisk, who planned to use her unique talents at a later time. Maya was born deaf, but developed the ability to copy physical movements and replay them in her mind. She could rewind and mimic them with pinpoint accuracy almost immediately. This was applicable to everything from professional dance, to fighting styles, or even accuracy with weapons. Fisk tells Maya in the comics that her father was killed by Daredevil, and gives her the supposed gun that Daredevil used to kill her father. She keeps it, along with footage of Daredevil fighting Bullseye in order to learn his fighting techniques. Now, keep in mind that Kingpin and Maya do not know who Daredevil actually is. Maya seeks out Matt Murdock at the behest of Kingpin. Kingpin wanted to stop Matt and Foggy from pressing a case against him after a janitor that worked for Kingpin uncovered some of his criminal activity. This janitor, Larry Sabalski, sends his twin brother to recruit Matt and Foggy to bring a case against Fisk, but the twin brother is shot and killed by Fisk's assassins, who believe the twin to be Larry. Fisk sends Maya to try and persuade Matt not to take the case, with Maya claiming that Fisk was a truly benevolent man. Unbeknownst to Maya, Matt is Daredevil, and the two end up turning their discussion into a date and really hitting it off. Maya decides that she really likes Matt, but she needs to close the book on Daredevil first by killing him. She hunts down Daredevil and the two battle with Maya able to easily get the upper hand. She's about to execute him in the street when she notices that there are a ton of people observing their battle, including children. She flees, but considering she wasn't really concealed, Matt now knows that Maya is after him. Well, after Daredevil. Kingpin ends up being acquitted of the charges against him, but it's revealed that Larry the Janitor had snuck into his limo and fired multiple rounds into Fisk's chest, causing him to fall into the Hudson River. Later, Daredevil is out on patrol, cleaning up some of Fisk's remaining thugs when Black Widow, his former girlfriend, arrives and asks him how he's been. Unbeknownst to both of them, Echo is watching them through the scope of a gun and ends up shooting Black Widow with a tranquilizer dart. Matt and Echo end up in another brutal fight, with Matt able to dispatch Maya when he traps her in a dark warehouse where she can't see. After the battle, Maya determines that somehow Daredevil's able to use sounds to his advantage. Echo lures Daredevil to a playground that happens to be near some train tracks, construction, and traffic, making it very loud. She also lights it on fire to drown out smells. 
Echo kicks the absolute crap out of Daredevil before she realizes that Daredevil has the exact same wound on his cheek that Matt had when they had met a few days previously. She understands now that Matt is Daredevil and couldn't have killed her father because he was in elementary school when her father died, making Fisk a liar and the most likely person to have committed the crime. Maya tracks down Kingpin who had crawled from the sewers back to the boxing gym that Maya frequently trained in. Maya confronts him and Kingpin attempts to talk his way out of it before she shoots him in the face. However, Fisk does not die. He's brought to the hospital and recovers, albeit completely blind. And this kind of mirrors the events of the Hawkeye finale and still allows us to keep Kingpin within the MCU. I would not be surprised if Fisk survived the gunshot from Maya in the show and rebounds. It would also make an extremely interesting dynamic if Daredevil was to return to the MCU properly and begin a relationship with Maya. Both would be determined to hunt down and stop Fisk, and it would be fairly easy to see how Maya would want to finish the job and Matt would want to prevent her from killing him, as he could have killed Kingpin before but didn't. And there you have it. I think it's safe to say that Kingpin will probably still be around in the MCU and is definitely not done terrorizing Maya Lopez, Matt Murdock, or anybody else who is foolish enough to get in his way. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you learned a lot, and if you did, consider liking, subscribing, and doing all those other things that YouTubers ask you to do. This has been Nick with Key Issues, thanks again for watching, and remember the motto, Kingpin over everything.